So some people may ask, how exactly did MVS, Mike's Vehicle Spotlight, actually get started? Well, I'm here to tell you exactly just how MVS came about. I'm Michael Adams. I created Mike's Vehicle Spotlight. I film every episode. I edit every episode. I even created the music that plays on in the background that, yes, it's coming. There will be a new song for MVS, hopefully soon, because like some of you, I'm sure, who are getting tired of hearing it, so am I. <laughs> but that's off subject. Let me tell you a little bit about my background. Ever since I was a kid, I've always had a fascination with three things. Cars, video, and music. Uh, I've always had a thing for cars, and I was the only kid in my neighborhood who walked around with a video camera, and of course I'm also a musician, so I am totally big into music and guitar playing, songwriting, the works. I love just about everything that has to do with the car. In fact, I had actually collected a number of owner's manuals to different cars through my family and people who were just willing to give them to me. I've got quite a collection. I got a 97 GMC Jimmy, a 1988 Delta 88 Oldsmobile with portfolio, I got a 99 Alero, which was actually my car for a while, a 2003 Cavalier manual, I've got a 93 Grand Am manual, a 92 Bonneville manual, 99 Mustang, 2006 Pontiac G6 manual, my former 03 Aztec of course. My very first car which was a 94 Pontiac Sunbird LE, two door. Those are just to name a few. And yes, some of them I have read all the way through. I haven't read one in a long time now. I know, kids normally read books stories. When I was a kid I read owner's manuals. <laughs> the very first car video that I ever did was on my aunt's 2000 Pontiac Grand Am GT and it was actually that car that got me hooked onto uh, the Pontiac brand which of course is no longer around which is a shame because Pontiac was an awesome awesome car brand. And uh, I had my camera the one day, and uh, being that I really, really liked that car, I did a sh short little tour on it. Didn't really know a whole lot then what I was talking about, but that was the first actual car walk around that I did. Let's take a look. Right now, you are going to see an overview on the new 2000 Pontiac Grand Am GT. First of all, the GT model includes these nice five spoke chrome sporty hubcaps with the four wheel vented disc that can be seen through. The sporty wing at the back. We love the illumination for the Pontiac. And where the ignition is, well, that's pretty good. Then you have this. All the lights stay on for a period of time until, for a gauge check, we think this is very cool. Trust me, we love seeing the tachometer go past 3,000. Excellent with all the treble controls and stuff. The bass is very good. Climate controls are easy to operate. Left compartment, that's pretty spacious. Sunroof can be easy to show you how the seats are very comfortable. And to get to the back seat, you have to flip a switch, which turns the seat over. They can fit probably up to four people. We never tested that part. This is standard, the Ram Air V6 system with Ram Air technology. And 
a 3.4 liter V6 with 175 horsepower, upgraded five more for the DT model. So that was my first walk around. My uh, second walk around that I have on tape, my earliest, was when my friend Dennis and I went to check out the brand new Pontiac Aztec at the time, 2001. And it was in December and we went to our local Pontiac dealer and we filmed the Aztec that was in the showroom. <laughs> How do you like it? Very nice. <laughs> I am sitting in an Aztec. I like this car very much. He's gonna buy and, it. No, I'm not. But um, the car and driver tested this car too, and I have the book at home, and. They like it a lot, they said in the magazine. Right there's the mattress. I don't want to surf it's blown up all the way and the camp thing is set up. It's really cool. Look at the gauges, look at the gauges. Can you see them? Is it too dark? Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Turn the light on. No. The battery. Look how the shifter goes down. It's like on a hill. And then dual climate controls and CD player. I think there's like my hands. Yep. Big. These things are bigger in real life than they are on the, in the books and on TV. Same engine that's in the Grand Am. I think this has 185 horses. It's like it's pushed back more. Look at that one. I like every part of it. It's beautiful. From then on, it was it was no big deal. I was just, you know, I had the camera and uh, I wanted to check out these cars and just I was willing to do a video on anything when I was a kid, um, you know. And when we would get new cars in my family, I would do some walk-arounds with them and no big deal, just something else for me to film. And I was intrigued by the vehicles and this and that. The first actual car feature that I did using computer editing and um, stuff like that was actually my Aztec uh, featurette, the Aztec featurette is what it's called. It's one of the earliest videos on my YouTube channel and it was actually, it just kind of happened out of boredom. It was May of 2009 and uh, I was house sitting for my aunt and uncle and they went on vacation and I had I had nothing to do there was nothing there I had my camera with me and I just thought it would be interesting to make a video on the Aztec because I I didn't find anything I haven't seen anything on YouTube that gives an in-depth um, in-depth look at the Aztec and maybe a little bit of the background on it and exactly where it came from. So that's kind of what led to the first actual feature that I did on a vehicle. And it was, uh, it, over time, it, it quickly got some views and I was actually quite amazed because I'm probably one of the few people who actually love the Aztec, even though I don't have mine anymore. I, I miss it dearly and uh, I got lucky. I, I didn't really have too many 
problems that the Aztecs were having. A lot of them were having computer problems and um, just odd things like that. I did have the intake gasket, had to have that replaced twice. Uh, the first time it wasn't done properly, so that led to a second time. But the motor ran fine. The only reason why I was getting rid of it, well, what I did was because the transmission actually was starting to go and um, it was acting kind of funny and it was pretty much paid off almost, so I figured it was time to get a new vehicle. Four years, I had it for four years. I put 50 some thousand miles on it within a four year period. I think that's what it was. I don't remember offhand. It's on tape though. Um, my aunt then, uh, also in, in 2000, toward the end of 2009, bought a 2009 Ford, uh, Ford Escape. And I saw another opportunity to make another feature on the vehicle, being that everybody kind of enjoyed the Aztec one. I thought I would kind of do another style video like that, uh, quick, equipped with test drive and everything. Um, so I went ahead and did that. And then a couple of months later, uh, my girlfriend got a uh, 2005 Ford Taurus, and even though it was an older used car, uh, it was in great shape, I saw the opportunity to do it again. In the fall of 2010, the 2011 Ford Edge was brought to my area, and the, um, the sales guy who I w was working with at the Ford dealership where we got my girlfriend's car from, uh, he'd known that I was, I've loved the Edge. Uh, I was actually hoping to get one, but they're still a little too, little too pricey at the moment for my price range. And um, it was, it's an awesome car. And when I found out, he actually called me and said, you know, the 2011, you know, we got one, we got an Edge. And I went down there and, you know, that video there I wanted to make, you know, huge because it was a car that I had personally, you know, took interest in and um, it was, it was good. It was a really good video. It got a lot of, a lot of plays and, you know, um, comments. It was actually the first vehicle that was featured by YouTube of mine. Um, I think right now it's it's definitely over thirty some thousand views and thanks. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, but yeah, so that was that was a big video there. That's kind of when you know if if the other car videos didn't prove it to me, the Edge video definitely showed that people enjoy watching videos of of vehicles and uh, even. Like myself, you know, I've always, there are cars that I I see all the time and I'm like, you know, I wonder what it's like behind the wheel, I wonder what the, you know, the gauges look like, I wonder what the engine looks like, sounds like, stuff like that. And obviously I'm not the only person who, who's like that, so that's great. When the Chevrolet Cruze was released, I wanted to look at it um, not just for video purposes, but I myself wanted to see what the Cruze was going to be like um, because it's actually built here in uh, Lordstown, Ohio, which is probably about half hour, 45 minutes, so in between, uh, actually away from me here in Ohio. and. Uh, you know, we've I've I saw the Cavalier being built when I was a kid there, and it was really cool. And then the Cobalt was built there, and the Cobalt I really didn't care for the Cobalt too much. So that's kind of why I was curious to see what the Cruise was going to be like because it just looked a lot better for one, and um, it, I had already heard that it was built using higher quality materials and. I just wanted to check it out for myself. So needless to say, I was able to bring my camera and I, I did a brief walk around on it, uh, got some information on it. But when I came home to edit it, you know, I was, that's kind of when I had the idea, you know, I want to do something original with this. 
and um, that's kind of where the idea for actually making a video series began. Um, I couldn't think of any other name, so Mike's Vehicle Spotlight just kind of came to me. And um, that's kind of what set it off. A few weeks later, I was able to look at the 2011 Ford Explorer, which is also brand new. And from there on, I was kind of able to just get connections at certain dealerships to do videos on these cars. And here I am today. Uh, probably, I don't even know how many videos I've done, to be honest with you. 40 or 50, maybe more than that, on vehicle spotlights. Um, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I, I enjoy doing this. I actually plan on going back to school here for, um, you know, video editing, because cars are not just the only thing that I film. I do everything. I'd like to do everything else. I actually filmed a a benefit concert that I was um, involved with for a local production company around here and uh, we made DVDs and I actually produced and edited the whole thing and uh, I had a blast working with that too and I'm actually thinking about opening up um, my six stringer productions to local bands around here who like maybe want a music video shot? I'm I'm interested to kind of do music videos with other people. I've done music videos on my own songs, but I would like to work with other people too and maybe help them get some. Um, can't find the word that I'm looking for. Prom promotional use, I guess, out of that music video, basically. Have fun. There are other vehicle uh, walk around videos that I love to watch. I especially love the videos from Saab Kyle 04 who I think by now we all know is the king of YouTube car walk around videos. Um, he has great great footage and he's very informative and I love all the cars that he's able to have access to. Like I wish I had access to as many brands and stuff that he does um, but I, I admire his work and um, I don't want anybody to think I'm in competition with him or anything like that. I I actually um, got a comment and on one of my videos and somebody said that you know my videos are pretty much right up there with his and I, I take that as a big big compliment almost pretty much like an honor to be compared to Saab Kyle who like I said the king of YouTube car videos so um, yeah, hopefully we'll both be around for a very long time doing this. So I look I look forward to doing more videos and obviously watching some more of his and other there's other videos that I've seen too that I, I enjoy watching. I can't think of them offhand right now. But that is pretty much the background behind Mike's vehicle spotlight and I wanna thank everybody who has been enjoying these videos and giving them a chance. Um I want to thank everybody who has subscribed. Uh, I've been doing Mike's Vehicle Spotlight for almost a year. We're going on, I think, 10 months now. Started in January, so it's going to be October here in a few days. So, yeah, it's been about 10 months. And um, even everybody who has watched the videos before Mike's Vehicle Spotlight, including the, the Edge video and the, um, you know, the Aztec video and all the other ones before then, um, Thank you for giving them a chance, and like I said, I, I hope you find enjoyment uh, as much as I enjoy making them for you. So that's pretty much all I've got for you guys. Uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more videos to come, and that's it. Thanks.